I am Eddie Edwards, Mr. AIP, Anything is Possible. You are watching Ambi, and don't forget, keep tuning in. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Eddie Edwards. Hello. Hello, welcome round two, back. round I two. I so like excited it. to have you. I feel special, I got invited back. <laughs> it was a lot of fun the first time, it was. so I appreciate you doing I agree, that. I agree. Well, I have to say welcome back to Canada, we're in Toronto tonight. Thank Feeling you. Feeling good? I feel good, I feel a, a little cold, a little mm -hmm. chilly. It hasn't quite got this cold in Boston yet. Boston, last week was like... 70 degrees. I'm like sweating okay. my ass off, and so so, quite, so it's, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of a, a little shock because we haven't hit it yet, but, but it's nice to prepare for it now. I'm ready. Well, aside from the shock of the weather, it's a super exciting time because Bound for Glory is coming up next week. Yes, it's yes. Next weekend, where you will be in the ring with EC3 and James Storm going against Team Triple A. Yeah. So, how are you feeling now that we're only a week away? You know, it, it's good because you know, Bound for Glory is the, the one of the biggest shows, if not the biggest show for Impact throughout the year. So. Uh, to be in one of the main matches and one of the big matches, Impact versus AAA. Um, you know, I got to go travel down to Mexico and we got to do a match down there with those guys. So it's been fun being able to trade talent, exchange talent. So now to be able to have the blow off, to have the big match at Bound for Glory where all the big matches should be, you know, like that. So uh, it's an exciting time. I think, you know, I know the, the boys, the wrestlers are excited, the, the office is excited, and I just hope the fans are excited as, as we are. I mean, yeah, I'm a fan, so I'm stoked. Good, it's good. That's so good, good. good to know. I'll, good to know. All right. <laughs> well, before Bound for Glory, we are here at Smash Wrestling tonight, where you will soon step into the ring to face Stu Grayson and Brent Banks. It's going to be quite the triple threat match. Yeah. Uh, do you still get nerves before walking down that ramp? You have to. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like, um, I, think it, I think it was Taz, actually. I heard a quote before. When you lose, when you don't have those butterflies before you go out, that's you know, that's when you hang it up because you have to have that those nerves. I, I I still get nerves thinking about it in the back before I go out, but while I'm waiting for my music, and then when the music hits and you go out, it just kind of rushes away. But it goes into almost like a good anxiety. Yeah, like it's a, like adrenaline excitement. hits. Yeah, but before that, you know, you have to. I'm always nervous, and I like that feeling. That's the feeling that I think that that drives us, and that's the feeling that we all want. I love hearing that because I've had wrestlers tell me it just means that you still care. Yeah, exa like, exactly. Like nerves, nerves aren't a bad thing. No, no, not at all. I, I, that's what you need to have. If you don't, you're not going to drive yourself anymore. You're going to go out there and you'll be lackadaisical and lazy, and that's you know that's when bad things happen. Well, since I last spoke with you, something super exciting happened, and is that that is that you won the NOAA GHC Heavyweight Championship, yes. and not just that, you were actually the first foreigner to win it. Yeah. So congratulations, that's <laughs> massive. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's it's still pretty surreal to me even. Even now, you know, especially when it happened, it took a while to sink in. But even still today, when you know, I'll get congratulations from, from random people here and there. It's still something that's surreal because it's something that's very important to me. You know, being being that I trained over there and I lived over in Japan for a while, and I've been going to Noah for 12 years at this point. So it's it's something that's really important to me and really means a lot to me. I love how you really are showing people anything is possible. That's it. I, I've been trying to say it. I've been trying to say it. <laughs> it's proof. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> when your hand was raised, what was running through your mind? Like, was it hard to even digest it in the moment? You know, it was, uh, it actually just like, even talking about it now, I still get like the chills because, you know, when, you know, the three count happened and, and the crowd reacted the way they reacted and I just got to sit in that ring and kneel in that ring and hold that championship up and, you know, just kind of think of so many different things, like the journey that it took for me to get there, you know, all the people that had been part of it, and you know, all the people that gave me a chance to be there. It was just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like rushing through me. It was like almost overcome with emotion. And just so it's just like it was cool to just sit in that ring and just appreciate and look at the crowd, the people who supported me. Um, it's a real, a truly special moment that some I'll never forget. You actually defended the title against Marafuji, and the cool thing about that is you posted a photograph afterwards where your chest was pretty bloody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was a that was a post shower picture. I I was, it was still bleeding. I, I, well, yeah, I think I, a scab came off or something. And mm -hmm. that Marafuji, I don't know how he does it. As soon as, like within a couple of times he chops you, you just start. He opens you up no matter what. He hits you in the same spot every time. He has like. The special art to it. I mean, I, I feel like I throw some decent chops, but he, like somehow he just cuts you right just open. Compare. Yeah, it's a, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. When you think about some of the cuts, bruises, or bumps you've had to take, which ones stand out to you as the worst? Which ones will you just not forget? Uh, well, you know, the for, when I broke my elbow when I was in Ring of Honor, um, that was kind of like it turned into a stepping stone for my career in Ring of Honor. It kind of 
because I, I ended up wrestling the next day with a broken arm in a ladder match. So it was like the fans kind of started turning for me, you know, coming, coming with me in that point. Because before that, they're kind of oh, so so, but. I think they appreciated what I was doing, you know, putting myself out there. Not? Yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, you know, that's that's cool. And of course, you know, now I have a th- I have the Rocky tattoo. Basically, that I got it where my scar is, where I have the metal plate in my elbow. Just kind of, it was a big part of my my career. And just because, you know, it's not about how hard you hit; it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And that's why I do have that tattoo there. And then uh, the time I broke my heel. Had impact the wrestling Davy, my partner. Um, that just for the sheer pain of it, it just that was by far the worst injury. It just split my heel in half, and it was just awful. I, I can't even explain. It doesn't it. sound nice. No, it was just so bad, and it was just so stupid that it happened. So that that's usually how it happens: doing something stupid that I shouldn't have tried to do. And have you That's ran it. the Rocky Steps? I, you know what? I actually haven't. Really? It's ble- no, I have not, and I don't know why. I really should. I got I to fully commit to it and do it at some okay, point. Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure. I was going to ask. I should go to the top, do the victory, no. like tattoos there. No, no, I have not yet. <laughs> okay. But it's funny, like, I, I forget. I don't know. I was somewhere maybe last weekend, and I have, like, my Anything is Possible hat on. I have the Rocky tattoo. I have... The future legend, yep. like, li- oh, it might have been this shirt, Live Dreams. Yeah, it's the new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Don't so cool. sleep, dreams, live them. And I'm like, man, I'm just like the the walking Mr. Positivity. People are probably going to hate me <laughs> at some point for this. <laughs> yeah. Like, I didn't mean to do this. I swear, people, <laughs> don't judge me. Well, when you won the NOAA title, you actually displayed it in front of a really huge collection of DVDs, and you said, looks <laughs> right at home. Um, yeah. What is a film you could watch over and over? Because you uh, have a pretty good collection. Man, you know... I guess like old school, I, I can watch all the time. Wedding Crashers, you know, comedies that I can watch over and over, and like movies I can just kind of put in the DVD player. Like if I'm going to bed or something, yeah, because I can't watch. It's gonna be yeah, I can't good. watch anything new because I'm gonna stay awake and not be able to fall asleep. Yeah. And like, I'm a big King of Queens fan, okay. <laughs> Kevin James, and I'll I can watch that over and over on the DVD player. So, uh, yeah, it was quite the selection there. And of course, everybody everybody picked out. The charm DVDs that were behind there, but I swear, them, I swear those weren't mine. But of course, everybody's like, "Oh, oh nice charm DVD." That's that. what they point at. Yeah, of course. Like, I love that. Right, maybe look at the bell. I don't know. I know. I, I should have known. Oh, posting man. the picture in front of that too. That's everybody's great. zooming in. Well, which, well, that's what I would have done. Zoom in, see the DVDs. Hmm, what do they have here? I love that. This beautiful yeah. bell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just go straight no, for forget the about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you also saw Guns N' Roses recently, and yes, you seemed so excited yeah. about that. How was it? Uh, man, it was a blast. This was my second time seeing them. I got to see them last summer at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass., and then this time at the TD Garden in Boston. And, you know, I get to go. My friends are really into it, so I get to go with them. And it's just like, you know, it's an all-day affair. You, you go, you get to have a good time, hang out, party. It's just, you know, it's, a, it's just a great atmosphere. Everybody who's there, who's there is has wanted to see them or has seen them a bunch of times awesome. you know it's always a great atmosphere as you as you i'm sure you know <laughs> who would you love to see still that you haven't i know a lot last time we talked about a lot of rap yeah so the, we're gonna maybe this time stray away from rap oh okay and we'll open it. like who oh, would you still man. love to see uh, i you know i being from boston i would love to see aerosmith okay. at some point i think that would be just because of the history that they have for being from Boston area, and I, their music has been, you know, is amazing. So I would love to see them live. I, I bet you they put on a great show, even though even though they're getting older and older. I would still love to go see them. <laughs> That'd be actually a really badass double bill, having guys in Oh, and yeah, that would be amazing. Come on, somebody do that. <laughs> well, just to wrap things up, I want to bring it back to the fans. Any parting words? Because even since I last saw you, it's grown a lot. Yeah, you know, just uh, you know, like I always try to say, just. You know, thank you for the support because, you know, I, I, you do it for the fans. You know, we do it for the fans. Uh, the fans help make it worthwhile. The, the injuries, you know, the broken heels and the elbows and stuff like that, the fans help make it worth it. And, and getting the response on Twitter, even from doing the last interview and everything, it's just great to hear the positive response. You know, sometimes in this crazy world, there's so much negativity and, yeah. and you know, we get it on social media and stuff, but it's always nice when you get the positivity back and 
So for that, I say thank you. Sometimes you really do need a little AIP in your life. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not trying to sound cheesy. It's so true. <laughs> exactly. Every <laughs> once in a while, just look at the hat. <laughs> Are you wearing it right now? No, this is a, this is okay, a different Future Legend say. one. Yeah. <laughs> I just got my Future Legend stuff, oh, too. I'm nice. so excited to start repping nice. it. Nice. I like it. I want to say thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you. I'm happy to do it. Hopefully, we can do it round three. Of course. Some point. All right. Awesome. And remember, to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.